this is it. It's a car that you've been waiting for. It's a car that we've been waiting for. And Hyundai has finally launched it. Say hello to the updated i20N line with a proper manual transmission. So what's the fuss all about, you ask? Well, this is the first time this generation of the i20 comes with this powertrain option. That is a turbo petrol engine and a six-speed manual transmission with a proper three-pedal setup. With the facelift, Hyundai has rationalized the i20's powertrain lineup. And let me tell you, it's for the better. So with the facelift, the standard i20 comes with a 1.2-litre petrol engine and a 5-speed manual or a CVT transmission only. And the N-Line comes with only the turbo petrol engine and a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Until recently, Hyundai was offering the i20 N-Line with a 6-speed IMT where you have a manual gearbox but you do not have a clutch pedal to change gears. Now, I do see some benefit for that transmission, but in a car with a sporty intent, well, it just felt a bit out of place. Thankfully, this one gets a proper three-pedal setup. So let's talk about the fun bits now. The engine is a familiar, 1-litre, 3-cylinder, 120-horsepower turbo petrol engine. Yes, the engine is responsive, but if you really put your foot down, you have to wait for it to cross that 2,000 RPM mark to really come into its zone. It's a free revving engine too, and it revs all the way to 6,500 RPM without breaking a sweat. What's nice is that even at higher RPMs, it doesn't feel unrefined or thrummy. In fact, the N-Line comes with this sporty exhaust. Um, but let me be honest, you can hear the exhaust outside a lot more than what you can hear on the inside. The clutch pedal in this iteration is quite light, although the travel is a bit long and you will have to take a bit of getting used to towards bite point, which is quite high. So modulating the clutch will be a bit of an issue, at least initially. But really what elevates the drive experience is the six-speed transmission. The shifts are slick, the gates are well-defined, and it is a sure slotting gearbox. And what I really love is this gear lever. It takes the sportiness quotient to another level. Now really, the manual transmission offers accelerating launches from a standstill. In fact, we put it through our tests and while it's not to autocar standards, it is quicker than its DCT counterpart. And then it carries forward the N-Line strengths, which are its sporty steering, which is really precise, really sharp to operate, and it's perfectly weighted. Then there's its suspension, its damping force is 30% stiffer than the standard i20. And while the ride is a bit on the stiffer side in comparison, it is still very smooth, very comfortable, something you'll not complain about. In fact, the stiff suspension gives this car a newfound confidence while driving at higher speeds. In fact, when you are cruising at triple digit speeds, it feels sure-footed, just like a European car. And that is saying a lot about this i20's driving manners. Also specific to the N-Line are all-wheel disc brakes, which make shedding speed a fuss-free and a rather confident affair. And because this car's chassis is just so capable and it gives you so much confidence, you would have liked probably another 30 or 40 horsepower from under the hood. Now that would have been a really irresistible proposition.
Time to compile what's new about this refreshed iteration. To start with, gone are the projector LED headlamps of the i20, which make way for a new set of full LEDs. The grille has also been redesigned and the checkered flag detailing has been given a miss. The alloy spot a new design, but if I'm being completely honest, I prefer the pre-facelift's wheel. You'll be hard pressed to point out the differences at the rear, with its new age 2D logo being the biggest giveaway. On the whole, the i20 N-Line retains its well-proportioned stance and looks rather attractive with its flamboyant styling that nicely reflects its racy character. Inside, it gets an all-black interior with a generous use of red on the seats, dashboard and doors to spruce up the design. As mentioned earlier, the gear lever can pass muster in much more expensive sports cars as could its steering wheel and its pedals. New this time is the new age touchscreen that's borrowed from the Ionic 5 and Verna and it also comes with touch sensitive shortcut keys for some menus as well as a proper physical volume knob. The rest of the cabin remains unchanged in terms of space and practicality. Seat comfort is good. The back seat is quite wide and spacious and its 311 litre boot is large too. And before giving out the verdict, here's a look at its full equipment list. And here's how much it costs. To summarise then, the i20 N-Line takes driving engagement and the fun to drive caution to another level with the three pedal setup manual transmission. This car's driving dynamics will certainly amaze you. And in addition, it comes with a spacious cabin, large boat, and a class leading equipment list. So, this car will appeal to both driving enthusiasts as well as family car buyers alike. What's more is that the Hyundai i20 N Line is the only one of its kind left with the Volkswagen Polo GT DSi the Fiat Aparth Punto, the Maruti Baleno RS, the Tata Tiago JTP and the Ford Figo all have cleared the field. If you were in the market for a sporty, fun-to-drive hatchback, your search starts and ends right here.